as you can see I am logged in with a non root user account now this is going to take a bit of time so I am going to pause this video here so the update has finished and now it's time to install the Apache HTTP server with the help of this command. The Apache server has been installed and now we need to start the server with the help of this command. Now this command will enable Apache to start at boot time. Now let's check server status. And the server is up and running. Now if the server is active and running, and if you try to open the server's IP address in your browser, and if your browser uh, displays an error then it may be due to uh, your server's firewall rules on CentOS 7 the default firewall is IP tables so we need to remove or flush the firewall rules which can be done by using the following command And this is it. We can see the default Apache web page. And in the next video, I am going to install MySQL database.